So we've just jumped right into that naval battle. Unfortunately, it is raining, so we're going to have to wait until next move. But thankfully, it's dry, and wow, that looks very different now without the rain. So let's start the deployment. Let's see how much of a distance we have to travel. It doesn't seem like it's, this map's too long. That's pretty cool. And also, they've got their base, I think, up here, if we actually can go up a bit faster. Can we? Do they have anything like um, cannons here? doesn't really seem like it, but that's really cool. The, the amount of detail is really, really quite amazing. But um, we're going to absolutely rape them in this um, mission because we've got two ironclad boats. And we have one copper-plated boat as well. So just you guys just come up here. There we go. Start the battle. Start. Prepare to attack, sir. And they've got two little crappy wooden boats. So yeah, I'm not really too worried. These guys are the US boats, which is kind of cool. Hopefully, I'll go pretty fast. Yes, USS, what's his name? Oh, Roanoke, the Roanoke class, radio. These guys can come up here. And we'll just, we'll just wait them for to go. We do have explosive shells as well, which we studied. What's this? A solid shot? So that's. Alright, well, I really shouldn't have used that, but. Too late now. And it takes a minute to reload, so by the time we get there, we'd have won. They're ready to defend, which is okay. Okay. You can start moving up here as well. Let's just zoom in, see what the units are doing. Wow, these guys are really filled to the brink. See the ironclad boats, because we haven't seen, it, seen them very much. I guess they have to pick up speed because of the steam and stuff like that. Look at that. It just looks so amazing. I'm really keen in just seeing their distances. How far can they shoot? All the way up to here, so. They're just really, really far. So this guy probably only needs to come up here. And then he'll be ready to shoot almost. And you, yep, just come up here. Like something like so. Damn right, orders better be understood. What else do we have? We can have overheat engine. Let's use that. So he'll just go a little bit fast for a couple of seconds. That's about it, really. They're just so amazing. See, the amount of detail in this game. Just imagine in the future how amazing games will look. Doesn't really say what overheat engine does, but I think it speeds things up. And we do have those explosive shells, which we should be able to use very soon. Orders, sir. So, let's do something like so. And are you ready to shoot yet? Yes, you are. Oh, nice. And we already damaged them a little bit, I think. They're moving already. Nice. All right. So this ship, you're going to be ready to shoot. If we, oh, too far. There we go. Attack this guy. Oh, you attack that guy. Okay, well, let's just zoom in, have a look at what's happening. Alright. You guys have lost a couple of units, not too much, though. Eh? You definitely wouldn't want to get in the way of that. This guy's going to get sunk real quick. Alright, what's this guy doing? We'll attack them. These guys are slowly shooting at us to see how their damage that they're going to be giving us. They basically don't give us anything because the iron... They all seem to be the in enemy here. General has fallen. Nice. Oh, that means they're sinking. Let's quickly zoom up over here. Oh. Are they, like, literally gone? They're all gone. Wow. Nice. That was good. How's this ship going? He's losing a couple, guys. I ain't worried one bit. Alright, that was easy. Um, let's just continue. Let's just wait until this explodes, if it explodes at all. And it is extremely laggy because there's just so much, um, like volumetric effects that it's got to do. Alright, that was easy. They have sunk. Alright, that's very simple. Alright, so as you can see, we have... Well, we destroyed both of them and we haven't lost anyone and... Basically, we took no damage on board as well, which is great news. So there goes their little navy, and 
we can actually take this town as well, which is what I'm going to do. Actually, what I want to do is I want to just continue the siege. And you guys, um, can you come up here? Right, just come by over here. Setting sail, sir. Let's see if we can actually get him in bombardment range. Yep, that'll work. Waiting for a new course. So now, you guys come in and attack. So I probably should. Oh, uh, you know what? So uh, we do have these parrot guns, which I do really want to use, but we have so many white tiger forces that it is kind of worrying, really. You know what? I'm just going to continue the siege, and we'll just do that. Alright, uh, let's do that. Fantastic. None of them have gained any experience though. Uh, what else were we doing? I think we were doing something up here. We have new enemies now, I'm pretty sure. So, there we go. Oh, these are the rebels. Radio, I remember. Okay. So, you guys really do need to hurry up over here. And, okay. Now, we were moving these guys over here. So you can hurry up. There's a couple of interesting buildings over here. I'm not really sure why they're over there, but interesting nonetheless. We we're allied with these guys. We're at war, so okay. So you have to keep that in mind. What's happening over here? Not much, really. Um, actually, no. We can't really ungarrison those units yet. Okay, we're at peace. How are these guys going? Plus eight. They still want to be repressed a little bit more. How's our clan development going? We've got a couple more moves. Okay, well... It's really now just a waiting game because... Yeah, it just really is a waiting game. We've got plus three over here, so... We can untax them. They're not really giving us that much money, so that's going to... Not make too much of a difference, though. Um, we could build a military port. You know what? I think military port... Oh. No, we do have enough of a navy, like... It'd be overkill if we could build, continue building up our navy, so... I'm not going to do that. We're allied with these guys. Okay. Just check out these guys, this army. It's a pretty well-rounded navy. They, We could have some better infantry than levy infantry, but whatever. Alright, let's just check what's happening over here. Not much, is it? No, not really. Actually, have we even built a military academy in Kai? Because that was my goal. Yeah, we do. Okay. So what else can we recruit? Imperial infantry. Let's build a couple of those bastards. And actually, let's go back to construction. We can build a samurai dojo as well, so we can buy those really good units as well. So let's do that. That seems pretty interesting. Um, okay. Continue on. Let's see what's going to happen. All right, so we, oh, right, we, we are moving these guys. Okay, so we're going to be attacking the Hitachi province. Probably next move, if we can reach up there yet. The Saga clan have moved over into our territory. Jeez, the Saga clan have a lot of moves they want to do. So it jumped straight from the Saga to the Su clan, wow. It must be, mustn't be that many provinces, I mean clans that anymore, left anymore. Very interesting. We basically destroyed that province over here, like that little island. That's really been annoying me. Here are the rebels. They, rebels still haven't do any, done anything. Oh, we've got mounting and resting bulls and arts. Um, army Geisha. What she can improve on? Inspiring troops or plus one? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Cool. Alright. Entertain nobles, yes. And. No. Yes. Yeah, she's, she's going to be really good at entertaining, ent at entertaining nobles. Where do we have mounting unrest? Really? What would that be? Because of modernization, I guess. Kind of disappointing, really. That they'd hate me so much, but oh, well. we can still untax them, and we're still going to be making a crap load of money in like 
I really do have way too much money that I really don't need. Um, we have these units up here. Just come up here, slowly but surely. When's winter coming? Winter is not coming. And how good is that? As soon as we attack, we basically captured that province as well. See, so the one thing about the inland provinces is you don't have ships to help you bombard with bombardments, which I really love to use, so... Um, I'll continue sieging these guys. Because it's not really a pressing issue. Um, hmm. That's about it, really. That's going to be done this move, except I will just want to bring Rainbow these guys up here. Sales, huh? You come up here as well. We sail for glory. Can you attack in... Oh, Fire. you won't be able to attack, will you? Uh, it did a bit of damage, which is great. Let's just see how many clans or provinces we need to take. We need one more province then, I guess, to unlock the vanguard. 60 out of 50 loyal provinces. And we need seven more. Alright, so we've got two up here. We've got Shimotsuke and Hitachi. So then it'll be five, which will be very easy. There's the Fukushima pro oh, well, yeah, province, which is very, very large, I must say. Alright. So we'll just have to capture these ones and we'll basically have all of Japan. Very nice. Alright. So I just want to watch out for these rebels. So. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa. We are about to launch an attack no, 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 on no, no, the no. trusted ally. Oh, really? You can't garrison him yet? Fair enough. Those bastards are going to attack here, aren't they? Right. You can build up some more infantry while we can. Build some Yariki or Bokachi as well. And some Black Bear infantry. Let's just check our army. We've got a lot less of these guys. Um, can we actually ungarrison them? Not really. Or well, we can ungarrison four. There we go. Alright. Um, over here, we're still besieging him, which is nice. Ready, sir. Get this guy to attack. Fantastic, we did a bit of damage. Head over into the next move. Actually, now because that was two moves since the last time I checked the clans development, that means we've unlocked the parrot, uh, whatever they were. I think they were Armstrong guns because we already do have parrot guns um, unlocked. So the Fukuoka clan, they don't do anything. They just stay still there in this little section and they just move around within their own cities. Whereas the Saga clan, on the other hand, they actually expanded and they actually captured... Ooh. That's very worrying. Um, hmm. We've got two generals. Alright, you know what? I think I'm going to win this, to be honest. Even though they have more people than us. That is very worrying, though. Um, hmm. We're defending as well. Got lots of military men. They've got Kisho Ninja. Hmm. You know what? I think I'll retreat. Okay, finally we unlock that. So we're unlock we're getting this in ten moves, which is nice. Very nice. How many moves do you guys have? It don't it doesn't say, does it? At your command. Destroy them. Okay, destroy some levy garrison infantry. How many moves do you guys have? Three. Yep. Jeez, they're almost all starved out. Let's just continue the siege. And I wanted to come up here because we have these soldiers, which we made them retreat. I just want these guys to come up here as well. This can take three moves. Alright, but then we'll have a massive army enough to defeat them easily. I'm still a bit worried about taking them on just as of yet. Just get the, this ship to attack. This ship to attack. There we go. Did a fair amount. They're all wooden ships though. They're all little crappy wooden ships. Get these guys up here. You guys can actually get attacks now. And actually, you know what? Attack. And I'm going to auto-resolve it because that's basically pretty pointless, I think. As long as you don't lose any units, we should be good. 
Yeah, we only lost 82. That's right. And we might actually get a general out of this, maybe? No? On the move, no. sir! Alright, so let's just untax them once more. And, hmm. Okay, well, that's about it, really. What else do I want to do? Nothing much, really. Check this. As you can see, basically all the map is green, which is great news for us. We're going to capture that province, Sado province, very, very soon. There's only probably about three enemies. There's one, two, three, yeah. And everyone else is very friendly. Oh, there's four. Okay. Let's say the Yonazawa clan, they've got power moderate, but their prosperity is meager. And they're very defensive, their integrity is dependable. Interesting. Okay, well, let's head over into the next move. I probably forgot something that I should have done, but I just want to get these moves over and done with because we basically already won this, which is very, very exciting. This is a rather quick let's play, only about 20, it'll be about 26 or 27 episodes long, I think. But then again, if I did like all 15 minute episodes, it would be about, oh man, episode 45 or so. So which is basically how long you'd expect a typical let's play to be. Well, there's a Sato clan, they have finally decided to attack us. So let's get into this. You guys are very lucky because you're going to have two battles in one episode. Okay, so here we are in this battle now. It's very hilly, I must say. So where, where should we capture position? I think this position over here will be good for us and they'll probably come up on this hillside. Alrighty. We actually have some large grouped bushes that we can hide in. They can hide in over here. Alright. What's this on the ground? There's stones and rocks and stuff. Nice. Okay, so let's just take everyone out here. Fantastic. Now, you two guys can come up over here. And you guys can actually come all the way on this side of the map. Now, and, and I just realized we just have so many guys with that are good at shooting and that's about it. But these guys are a lot better than just the levy infantry, which is great, so... Just tell them to spread out something like so. And let's just get these guys just to... Hmm, where can they go? Just come up here. Now, the United States Marine Force, or Corps, what are they called? United States Marines, just that. Just come up here, General... Hurry up and like inspire your troops and start the battle. Prepare to defend, sir. All right. So we're going to be defending, which is going to be quite amusing. And we do have ships to bombard them with as well. Um, you guys can attack up here. Where are they? There they are. No, no, stay still, stay still. Just limber up. Um, how are these guys going? Are oh, the good dead turning around? Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to be able to. We're shooting now. Fantastic. Are we shooting? No? I don't hear anything. Let's do something like that. Oh, that's close. Alright. A bit lower then. We just need to get over the hill, and that's it. That was pretty good. We can go a bit to the right. And hope for the best. Oh, a bit higher. Right. I reckon this is the most fun in the whole game. First person, the cannons. Oh, God. Not the best angles, though, to be honest. Because of those kills. Oh, yes! And we shot exactly in the same spot and nothing happened. No. Come on, guys. Alright, now they're shooting. I can hear them. Great. Nice. Alright, so by the time they come up here, we should be sweet. And set. 
We have a naval bombardment, 25 shells, 11 seconds to impact bombardment duration, 9 seconds. Right. See if they can, they can, they don't even know what's hitting them. Nice, how demoralizing. Can you, any of them say anything? Not yet. We can't even see, wow, okay. It's like a tennis match. See the the cannons coming over. All right, so we nearly have our naval bombardment, so I'm going to aim up around here. This is their general, isn't it? Seems like it anyway. Six seconds. Oh, they're almost all destroyed. Well, not almost all, but they're pretty demoralized. Aim up around here. There we go. There's a the flare. Do we, do we see our ships? No, it doesn't seem like we do have our ships over here. Sometimes you can see the ships. I just want to see this naval bombardment first, though. There you go. I think it's going to be up here perfectly. This is going to be so perfect. Are you guys aiming still? Yes, you are. All right, they seem to be running around. They realize that there's a flare here. Idiots. All right, here we go. Oh, what a bunch of smart bastards. Oh, we've got a couple Victory of them. Is assured, sir. Alright, uh, they're all running up now. Fantastic. Actually, look at it. It looks crazy. Alright, uh, what's happening over here? Uh, all you guys do something like so. Yes, enemy is approaching. Are you guys even shooting? Shoot, 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 shoot. No, shoot! They are so screwed. What are you guys doing? What the hell are they doing? They're like running around. They're probably going to turn around soon, hopefully. There we go. Oh, they're all retreating in. These guys are the poor Spielebbies. Thinking they're doing a good job. Getting good. Stop and shoot. Got down. Oh, they're so dead. Jeez, they're, they're like all gone. They're running away. away. Alright, nice. Right, you guys can attack them. Alright, victory and battle. Decisive victory, which is great news for me. I think that means we captured their um, little castle, which will definitely be a great help to us, Just especially in the numbers, although that wasn't really that much of a strategic point. Okay, okay, so, wow, we lost the zero people, they lost everyone. How good is that? How good is that? And we also captured the province, so I'm going to peacefully occupy. I'm going to let things go. Just for now, I'm going to retreat out of this. Retreat. Hopefully they don't follow me. No, they definitely didn't. I want to get... Uh, oh, there we go. The civil war rages on and our achievements in the Emperor's name have been declared without equal. In honor of your loyalty and diligence, he has declared you regent. You may now appoint a general to the office of Commander-in-Chief. And also, here we go. Realm divide. Conflict has escalated and we have grown strong serving the Emperor. The decision must now be made how best to unify the people of Japan once and for all. So, the Emperor must lead his people to greatness. In his name, we will crush all who oppose us. So, in recognition of your military endeavors, the Emperor has decreed that you shall bear his divine banner into battle. None shall dare re resist the Imperial re Army. All forces loyal to the Emperor have rallied behind you. The unification of Japan and the Emperor's name is yours to achieve. And you do not need to crush the opposition. Okay, if you continue to spread pro-imperial influence, rival... I can't really read that because the screen is rather distorted. We'll realize the futility... Or doma rival domains will realize the futility and... Uh, of resistance and join your side. And... Here we can beat independence. So the war rages on between the Emperor and Shogun. Your efforts have not 
go on unnoticed, so expect mounting hostility from all, even your closest allies. Imperial and Shogunate related units and agents may no longer be fielded. Any such units you do control will now abandon your cause. Your propaganda network must um, rebuild to accommodate your new personal objectives. You no longer have access to uh, whatever those guys are in Ishi Ishi. Agents, however, you, your new propaganda allows you to maintain influence within your own and neighboring provinces. I'm going to fight for the Emperor in the rest of this let's play, so let's do that. And our banners will change, and here we go. We have a Each clan cutscene. has chosen their destiny. We will serve the Emperor with strength and honor. Friends will become enemies, and enemies friends. But these broken promises no longer concern us. For there remains but two fates. Those who find glory and those who invite death and oblivion. Imperial strength will be restored. The Emperor will be victorious. Indeed he will, and as you can see, we have changed into the Satsuma Imperial Vanguard, which is me. I want these guys to come up here. Forgive me, I but I cannot march. Laying an ambush, my lord. Alright, um, now we'll have a massive army, so we'll... Surprise me, oh, alright, we only do have four people, okay. So, that's great news for us. Not much has really happened, I don't think, like, in regards to clan management, apart from... This saying be the Kampaku. So we basically have the highest fame that we can possibly have, which is nice. We need six more provinces. We probably should capture this province, but I'm too lazy to like swim or go all the way over there. So let's not do that. I just want to bring these guys up. Um, we're still building up over here. How many moves do we have? For the clan development, nine. Oh my god, that's a heck of a lot of moves. Um, hmm. Do those, these guys don't even hate me, so. How about you guys? Ready for battle. Okay, they can't replenish, whatever. It's gonna be three moves. It's really quickly that we'll be able to take that, so that's nice. Attack. Nice. You guys attack them as well. Nice. Alright. And let's head over into the next move, I think. Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's um, repair and repair. Let's check this province as well. Um, so we've got a castle of repression. Nice. So I'm just going to head over into the next move. See what happens with the Sado guys. Hopefully they'll love us even when we take our army out. And then we can move that army over into the mainland to continue our attacks. Actually, I should, probably should have checked my diplomacy, diplomacy as well, because now all these guys probably really love me, because I chose the Imperial cause. See, if I didn't choose the, choose the Imperial cause and I went the independent route, then people probably would have hated me. Well, everyone would have hated me, and the Sioux clan is very, very large, and they're near me. Oh, clan joins the enemies. Who's this? Who's the Sendai clan? Who do, you, who do you speak of being the Sendai clan? Are they like gone or something? I don't see them. Yeah. Interesting. Um, so these are the Shogunal Vanguard now, which is very interesting. They have six provinces, which is nothing. And they're all the way up there, so... We've basically destroyed all of them. I'm probably going to continue until I capture all of Japan, really. Don't see any other way out, to be honest. Um, okay, so if I take out my units, this okay. I could raise. Um, let's see, what does that do? Plus eight repression. What's it at now? Repression, repression. It's at eight. It only adds one more. I want to. I want to make my people happy somehow. I'm not exactly sure how to do that. Some gold fields? Nope. That just gives me more money. I may as well just do that. Uh, I'm just going to wait it out a little bit. Actually, you know what? Hmm. 
actually. Alright, you don't have to pay taxes, so that means we're going to be getting all our army back over here, so that's great. So, all you guys, you, 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 fantastic. Over here now. And this is at zero, which is great, although this is going to grow a little bit, so let's recruit someone such as a sharpshooter. Get two sharpshooters, that's nice. And then we'll be able to fight over into the mainland. We'll probably attack up here. Then we'll meet them all soon. So, send this army to continue up over here. You guys, come up over here. Alright. You guys just continue to attack, nice. You continue to attack as well. Alright, well, that's really about it, really. Just, we can go back to the diplomacy, but... I just want to see the Fukuoka clan. They, um... Would they, their territorial expansion is hurting us, and dishonouring treaties is hurting us a little bit, but... And the Daimyo honour, but other than that, we're going very, very well with them. We're going very well with everyone, there. Alright. Uh, let's just check the clan management one last time. We're rich, which is nice to see. We've got, we need six more provinces. And we can also have a... Oh, what did I do that for? We can appoint him. We can adopt him. As chief of staff. Let's do that. And this guy can be the commander in chief. And we can kick someone from office, although I don't really want to do that. And we can't convert the allegiance because your domain has come too far to change its allegiance now. So that's going to be it for this episode. It was rather lengthy. I know you guys do love the long episodes, but thanks for watching. And we'll be back for the next episode, hopefully very, very soon, guys.